Hey guys, Jay Boone down here at Emerald City Guitars and I have a pick of the day today. I was on a little trip down to Cannon Beach with my wife a couple weeks ago and on the way back home, we got a, a tip from a good buddy of mine to go out to Shelton, Washington and check out a guy selling his Jaguar. So I went out there and visited this old gentleman and sure enough, man, he had a first year 1962 Fender Jaguar in the beautiful three-tone sunburst finish. And I couldn't believe how clean this guitar was. He's way out in the sticks out there, man. I rolled up and he comes out in the porch holding this guitar and I'm just like, cool, man, how cool is that? He bought it brand new. He played it a little bit, put it away for years and years and years and I was thrilled to get it. And I said, what kind of amp did you play through? He says, oh, I got that in here too. He ran in the house and he brought out this old 1955 Gibson GA20. One of my favorite amps, my favorite era, just a sleeper of a beast of an amp, man. It's just, a, just an amazing, darker sounding amp than its counterpart, the, the Tweed Deluxe, but man, they are cool. So I handed the amp off to our buddy Brent Bagby at Solder House. He put a three prong cord on it for me and recapped it. Sounds fantastic, ready to rock. But let's get back to this guitar. Absolutely beautiful. The first year of the Jaguar, you can see the, the mute here and the cool tortoise shell pit guard. Of course, a Brazilian rosewood fretboard, clay dots, just an absolute stunner of a guitar. Flip it over here. You can just see how clean that baby is. The six in a line, clues on tuners, shiny, new like and that cool five digit serial number. This is just as good as it gets. The case, lovely condition, and the cool thing about it is this case pocket is full of very awesome case candy. Starting with the original hang tag matches the serial number of the guitar, the Fender instruction manual for the Jaguar guitar, the old original Fender guitar cable that came with your purchase in the day. One of my faves, the original polish cloth, Fender logo on it, in plastic with the original piece of paper that comes with it, still intact. And then a couple other things, it's got an old strap in there and a couple of sets of strings, nothing that were bought back in 62, but these pieces definitely were with this guitar when he bought it. So really great stuff to have in there to go along with this very collectible first year Fender Jaguar. It sounds great, the pickups are strong. Electronics, we cleaned them all up, just put a little polish on this guitar, polished up the frets, and it was ready to go. So I love the tremolo on the Jazzmasters and the Jaguars. It's got that real big long arm and real smooth action on that trem. And then of course you have the three switches here, and then the switch up here with the two preset roller controls. Real versatile guitar for its era, and although it only has a couple pickups, it, it will do a lot and uh, a variety of tones out of this guy. One of the favorites among the surf crowd. Today, I'm gonna have Joey Boone do a little demonstration of this guitar through the GA20 that the guy had for many years with this guitar, and it should sound really good. The amp doesn't have reverb, but hey, it's still gonna sound great. So without further delay, take it away, Joey.
So there you have it, folks. My pick of the day, an original first year 1962 one owner Fender Jaguar in near mint condition with all the case candy in the world you would ever want through a 1955 Gibson GA20M. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed it. Take care. See you next time.